Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Senator Bernie Sanders. not just the oligarchs. Right. And what our campaign is about when we talk about political revolution, yes. we understand that no president, not Bernie Sanders or anybody else, can do it alone. Yes. And if we're going to take on the greed and corruption of Wall Street, of the insurance companies, of the drug companies, of the fossil fuel industry, of the prison industrial complex, of the military industrial complex. No president can do it alone. We need an unprecedented grassroots movement of millions of people fighting for justice. I want to just say how far we have come when people stand up and fight. Just give you some examples of that. Four years ago, when I was here in California, I talked about raising the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. People said, too radical, too extreme. Well, seven states, including this one, plus the U.S. House of Representatives, have raised that minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. radical and crazy idea making public colleges and universities tuition free. All over this country, cities, counties, and states are doing exactly that. Four years ago, we talked about ending student debt in America. More and more people are on board. Four years ago, we talked about health care as a human right. And I'm here tonight to tell you that when together we are in the White House, in the first week that I am president, we're going to introduce Medicare for All. You can't run away from the power of the insurance industry and the pharmaceutical industry. They are enormously powerful entities. They have ads all over the country right now demonizing Medicare for all attacking me. But I have absolute confidence that when millions of people stand up and make it clear that the function of a rational healthcare system is not to make a hundred billion in profits 
of the health care industry, but to provide quality care for all. We're going to win that fight. just that Trump doesn't know anything about anything, <laughs> but on the issue of climate change, he is a danger not only to our country and to the entire planet. I wish, I honestly do, wish that I could tell you that, you know, we can come up with a little program here, we'll invest a little in sustainable energy, we'll do a little energy efficiency, we'll build some railroads, and that will solve the problem. It won't be. It won't. I want all of you to understand this. What the scientists are now telling us is they have underestimated the severity and the speed in which climate change is wrecking havoc all over the world. Yes. This is a fight not just for us. This is a fight for our children and our grandchildren. And we have no option now but to adopt the Green New Deal to take on the fossil fuel industry. And by the way, I will have an Attorney General who will be taking a hard look at when the fossil fuel industry understood that their product, i.e. carbon, was destroying the planet and how much lying they did to the general public. Brothers and sisters, we are fighting here to make sure that this planet is literally healthy and habitable for not just us, but for our children and our grandchildren. And this is a fight we cannot afford to lose. And here is my dream. Maybe I'm dreaming a little bit too much. My dream, is, my dream is that given the enormous crisis global climate change is posing to every country on earth, maybe just maybe, with good, strong American leadership, we can tell countries around the world, that I'm talking about Russia, and China, and India, Pakistan, countries all over the world, that instead of spending $1.8 billion every year on weapons of destruction yeah. designed to kill each other, yeah. maybe we should pool those resources and combat our common enemy, which is climate change. Yeah. We have made progress in recent years, not enough, and we're making progress on criminal justice. And I want to thank Black Lives Matter, the ACLU, and other groups. We just elected a good new district attorney in San Francisco. And we are going to make progress on immigration reform. We are going to end, we're going to end the demonization of the undocumented in this country. Yeah. On day one, day one, we will undo all of the ugly executive orders done by Donald Trump. Yeah. And we will reestablish the legal protection for 1.8 million young people in the DACA program and their parents. Yeah. We will pass comprehensive immigration reform and a path towards citizenship. And we will develop a humane border policy which does not snatch babies from the arms of their mothers. By the way, when I talk about criminal justice, I mean that we will, in every state in this country, legalize marijuana. We will expunge the records of those people arrested for possession of them. So let me just conclude uh, by telling you what you already know. We are living in an unprecedented moment. 
in world history and in American history. And our response must not be depression, it must not be despair. It must be a willingness to stand up and fight. It must be a willingness to go out and kicking and screaming, bring your friends and your neighbors and your co-workers into the political process. that and when millions of Americans stand up for justice, for economic justice, racial justice, social justice, environmental justice, when people stand up and fight, there is nothing that we cannot accomplish. Thank you all very much.